Hi, it's Ron Brown with your Being Truly Well Minutes for today. Today I want to talk about something that's very dear and near to my heart, and it is um, activating yourself to action, to service, to truly connecting with that embryonic truth and delivering it forth to the world. And um, one of the things that I've been very honored and proud about is uh, my family history. Uh, One of my family offshoots, which is my dad's mother's side of the family, uh, which is from the Robinson side of the family, Um, and they kept a very detailed uh, genealogy all the way back to the Mayflower, uh, with John and Priscilla Alton uh, crossing over on the Mayflower. And along there we have John Quincy Adams, famous president, of course. Um, and, you know, if you look at my nose a little bit sideways, you can see a little bit Quincy Adams in me. Uh, when I look at my dad, uh, his nose is definitely John Quincy Adams' nose. And, uh, and we both got the horseshoe uh, baldness. Um, but one of my most interesting uh, connections in my family tree, other than my, my own dear family, Um, is Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, the poet. Um, There's two quotes in particular that I really love that he wrote. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Um, Definitely a great lyrical poet, somebody that touched many lives uh, with his words. Tragically, he lost two of his wives, one of them uh, during childbirth. Um, She passed away. And the other um, actually was strange. She, she got caught by a fire on her dress and, and was unable to put the fire out and it killed her. And at, after that happened, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow just couldn't put together his writing any longer. He just tried to do some poetry, but uh, just spent the rest of his life. Um, uh, he lived to be 75, but he spent the last 15 years of his life kind of on the shelf aside. I find that tragic that when things happen in our lives, we truly stop. We, you know, one thing happens, okay, I can deal with that, and I find another wife and get married, and and we have this wonderful romance, and then they pass away. That's tragic. And, um, you know, when I read that, uh, it touched me. And I think so often in our lives that, you know, we stop because something happens in our lives. And, and we have so much to give. And, and if only he had read back his earlier works. Two things um, that he wrote that really touched me. Uh, one of them is, the life of man consists not in seeing visions and in dreaming dreams, but in active charity and in willing service. So what he was asking in that was it's great to to dream and to to have visions for your life and to truly know what you're supposed to do, but you need to go out and do it. You know, if you've been listening to my series, you know that constantly there are little things that we need to do um, to take action steps to make our embryonic truth revealed. So remember I talked about the flower that sits there on its its stem, and um, if it doesn't open up, It doesn't reveal the beauty that's within. It doesn't allow it to be pollinated, to be treated um, by the bees and the the different uh, birds that come around to taste its nectar and to pollinate other plants. And then to share its seeds to grow and, and bring forth more. And, you know, I think he, being a very wise and famous poet, opened up his flower. And he even shared a lot of his nectar and his wisdom and his writings. And the wind blew him a little bit and, you know, scared him and retracted some of those leaves. I know there's some flowers that in, in nighttime will shrink up its, its uh, different petal, petals and close up the flower and wait for the warmth to, and the sunlight to open up again. And... I want you to try to move forward in your life. Learn from my ancestor, who truly was a great man, to take action steps. 
to be of service to others and to yourself in whatever your calling is meant to be. It might be to be a mother who truly nurtures her children in every way, in food, in wisdom, in love, in an embrace. It might be a person that counsels others. It might be a person who moves forth and, and you have a vision that nobody understands but you. But if you don't let it out of you, no one will ever see it and the world will suffer from that loss. And you might think, I'm nobody, I'm insequential. My life means nothing. Well, you are not. <laughs> you are loved. I love you. And I may not even know you, but I can assure you, by being in this world, you are a piece of a puzzle that fits perfectly only for you. And if your puzzle piece is never put on the board of life, and never put into place, then the picture that we're all meant to see and be part of never gets to be seen. You know, another quote that he said, and this one was from earlier, uh, the human voice is the organ of the soul. And when I read that, my spirit just leaped in connection with Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. And, and, you know, it's amazing how we look at where we've come as a people, how life has truly had cycles of history. But if we don't speak out what is in our souls, if we don't bring it about by speaking it into existence, uh, a lot of people write in journals. They write down, you know, things that are happening to them on a daily basis. Um, but if you don't take action steps to that, put a voice to it, then you truly do not unfold what is in your soul within you. So today I would encourage you, it's a, it's a beautiful Saturday, it's crisp and cold here in Oakton, Maryland. I don't know where you are, but um, it's a cold, crisp day, and it would be easy for people to just bundle up under a blanket and just stay inside, but I choose to go out. And so I would encourage you, take those steps, look within, hear what you are meant to be by connecting with that embryonic truth, and then let it unfold. Take the steps, let your human voice be the organ of your soul. In other words, let the action come out of you. Speak it into existence. I, look yourself in the mirror and say, I, Say your name. I'm here on this world because I am here to do this. And I will do it by doing these steps. And speak that every day to yourself. Speak about what your plans are. What you know you're meant to do. Because by speaking it into an existence and hearing it through your ears coming from your own voice, you truly will be taking the action steps. The courage will build. The steps will be made, and action will be taken. Think about that one today. I know it's a little, you know, hippy to be in zen-like, but it's truth. And, you know, people all throughout the world have said many things. Uh, there's one about breathing. And, you know, I wasn't even going to mention this quote, but I will. It's from Abu Bakar, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, he's someone who grew up in the Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia area. He was a prophet uh, and a teacher, a, per, a teacher of sorts. Um, he was one of the first people to come from outside of the Muslim faith and go into the Muslim faith uh, and accepted for that. Uh, it was after Muhammad. And he said this, Our abode in this world is transitory. Our life therein is but alone. Our breaths are numbered, and our indolence is manifest. Indolence being laziness is manifest. So take advantage of each breath, is what he was saying. You know, we are here but for a brief time. What are you going to bring to the table in that time? I believe firmly, and I believe that Abu also knew this, that, you know, we are here but just for a glimmer. It's a small little sparkle that for a short time flickers. And what will that bring to fruition? 
There have been people throughout history who have made changes in the world for the better. And there have been those who have changed the world for the worse because they didn't live who they were meant to be and instead inflicted upon others. So I would encourage you, open up. Do not have indolence. Do not have that laziness in your life. Because today, you're only given today once, and tomorrow is but a dream of potential. And you must open up. It's Ron Brown for Being Truly Well Minutes. And think about that one. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day.